Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be reviewing a, uh, a meal from Costco. This is their meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So it looks like meatloaf underneath there and it looks like mashed potatoes. Um, this was, you notice there's no label on here. The reason being is they had the wrong label stuck on here. They had a, a chicken alfredo or something label stuck on here. So um, we pulled that off. Not sure of the exact cost for the meatloaf mashed potatoes. I think it was right around $15, but I can't swear to that. Tons of mashed potatoes. I mean, look how thick this package is. I mean, you can see how thick that, that meatloaf is. So, um, we had to call Costco and get the directions to actually bake it. So, this is what they said it was. Ovens on 375. I have a piece of aluminum just big enough to cover it up. And a baking sheet just to put it on just in case it runs over. And something to grab because you really can't grab this once it gets hot. So, it says non-microwavable uh, and non-oven safe lid. So, we remove the lid. And there, ooh, wow, you get that um, the ketchup smell from the meatloaf immediately. So I'm going to cover this up with uh, aluminum. And you uh, bake it for 60 to 70 minutes on 375, like I said. And uh, when it comes out, I'll be back to try it out. And like I said, me and Ashley are probably going to be eating it, but only I will be in the review. I'll just review it for you. So it goes in the oven just like that, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the oven. What I did was I put it in there for an hour with the aluminum over the entire thing. And then um, I, we rolled back the aluminum off of the meatloaf to hopefully get it a little browner on top. Really didn't brown it up a little bit, but it did thicken it up a little bit, put a little crust on it. Um, but we did that for like 10 or 15 minutes. So, so all together it was in for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna cut it like this. And I don't know how big a hunk Ashley wants, but that's about how big a hunk I want. And let's see what it looks like. <laughs> There's one side. There's the one side on the outside, and there's the inside. Not bad. And I'll cut another piece for, for Ashley. Probably another one for me. And I noticed the butter kind of <laughs> left weird pads on there, but I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. It's a little thick. It, it kind of feels like a um, incense, but I don't know that it is. It's kind of got that pasty look about it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this over to the table and I'll let you know what it tastes like. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try the uh, potatoes first. No, those are actually potatoes. Um, there's little chunks of potatoes in there, not a lot, but a few little chunks of potatoes. It does need some salt and it would benefit for me to have a little butter, but I probably won't do that, but it does need salt and pepper. Yeah, those are actual potatoes. They do have a little chunks in there. So let me try the meatloaf. So the potatoes are really good. The meatloaf's good. The, um, the ketchup has a um, sweet flavor. I like a little Worcestershire sauce of mine, like a little bit more of a, of a steaky, saucy kind of flavor. But um, this is really good. It's got that dense meatloaf texture. Um, it may have onions in there, but if it does, there's not very many of them. That if I if I were to do it, I'd put more meat, onions in it. But uh, but overall, the flavor is pretty good. The potatoes and meatloaf go good together. Um, definitely a good meal to have. And there's enough meatloaf and potatoes there for probably a good family of four could eat this uh, with no problem. So, um, so yeah, I, I would give it um, a definite try. If you've never tried it before, it's definitely worth trying out. I think you would like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Hey, I wanted to follow up real quick. You can see, I ate it all. Um, I have to say, and actually agree, the potatoes are really, really good. You can make them at home yourself just as good, but the, they are really good homemade mashed potatoes. We did put salt and pepper and butter on them though, so that always makes them better. Um, the meatloaf, after trying our whole bites, neither one of us really cared for the meatloaf by itself, the way it came out of the package. Um, the ketchup is really, really sweet, and we just didn't care for it. So, um, put some Worcestershire sauce on it. Much, much better. I mean, this was, this like made it edible, because I wouldn't have wanted it at all before that. Um, adding this really, really increased the flavor. And I actually had never tried it before, and so she put it on hers, and she really liked it that way too. So, that being said, Buy it, but just know that you may have to spice it up a little bit um, and add your own seasonings to it just because it is kind of, it's kind of a sweet meat flavor. That's kind of what it tastes like with all that ketchup on it. So anyway, catch you next time.